Yo hey guys what's up this is Yadavir Singh and today I'm going to tell you best books to get at a point where you'll be like what the fuck I always wanted to be here in my life and these books like really helped me a lot when I was in my growing phase of my life the books that I'm going to tell you they're like divided into four sections they're into business they're into sexuality they're into spirituality and then there are some self help books let's get into it straight starting with the business books you know the first book is like Sam Walton the best book reading this book it was like so fucking amazing one thing that i learned from sam walton was like sam walton he was like so competitive he'll always visit competitive stores you know his competition whatever it is the competitive stores is always going to visit that and there he's going to see like what different are they doing from me like there are so many people in this store why are they going in this store why are they not going to walmart so the things you know that you can learn from sam walton are just fucking amazing so read this book amazing book let's see what happens next the next book is the one thing the one thing by gary keller so so fucking amazing eaten by my dog the best thing that i learned from this book was like you are you know focusing on so many things in your life you know multitasking you're doing this you're doing that you're focusing about this you're focusing about that but while doing all this you know you totally forget that the most important thing that you have to focus upon is getting divided attention instead it should have it should have gotten undivided attention suppose there are three things that i have to do and out of those three things one thing is like the most important thing but if i'm giving my focus to all of those three things the most important thing gets 1 by 3rd of the total attention instead it should have gotten 100% of the attention so the one thing tells about the one thing that you have to focus upon so that you can really be successful it really talks about what would you do if you weren't afraid of anything in this world if you were having all the time in this world what will you do right now what will you do if you were not afraid of anything in this fucking world the next book is contagious It tells about you know how to how emotions are attached to people how marketers use emotions to you know seduce people to buy their thing it tells about what are different kind of emotions that you have to hit upon if you are into any kind of business the next book is purple cow purple cow by seth godin seth godin is a marketing guru there is no one like him and what he's telling in this book purple cow is that suppose you are going and okay you're traveling in switzerland okay and while traveling in switzerland you are in a cadillac red color cadillac you're just relaxing and looking out of the window and you know there are so many cows there are so so fucking so many fucking cows on the field and suddenly you see a purple cow and you'll be like what the fuck stop 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 the car stop the car what is that you'll just get out of the car you'll go near the co- near the cows and like what the fuck there's this purple cow you'll take your phone out and like posting instagram stories the fuck there's this purple cow in this world what is this and all that so what seth seth golden is talking in this book the purple cow is that don't be boring like there are so many things people will start doing so many businesses that don't appeal audiences that is like they're like so fucking ordinary that people won't even give attention to them for example what was the last advertisement you just saw doesn't matter how much time ago you won't even remember which one was the last advertisement because advertisements are like boring they don't get your attention so you won't remember the last advertisement okay but what's the last craziest thing you have done how will you remember the craziest thing you have done in your life because it's something different okay so that's what seth godin talks about purple cow how to get attention of people if you want to do any kind of amazing businesses the best book the best business book is this one ask gary v so it has a lot of amazing advices it has a lot of practical advices because all of the other books are more about you know mentality mindset and all that things you know telling about the market but what to do hows hows so all of the hows are in this book gary v as you all know like he's amazing okay he talks a lot of shit yes he talks a lot of shit you know motivational bullshit because see he cannot he can, he has he has a media agency okay he has a huge company so he has to keep on posting something some shit something something right so after some time you know you just you just come to know about a person so after reading so many books by him i just came to know like what is he doing why is he doing whatever he is doing so 
you know this book is good because it gives you practical advices but i won't suggest someone to you know keep on looking for gary v videos and all that shit coming up next the next section is spirituality so the first book that i would recommend someone if they want to go into spirituality is the book of man by osho so what osho is talking in this book the book of man he is telling the different roles a man has to play in his life you know the role of a husband the role of a sex toy the role of a playboy the role of i don't know a slave the role of a son at the role of dad and dad there's so many things in this world that you know so many roles that a man has to play so how to con- come out of the cycles you know how to come out of the roles that you are playing and just be a fucking man a man and not a role that a man is playing because you know whenever you're playing a role in your life you are identified with the role okay and if something happens to the other person with whom that role is attached to for example if i'm if i say that i'm an indian okay so the role that i'm playing is of a patriot okay and if someone says bad about my country i'll get hurt but <laughs> i'm out of the role i'm not a patriot i'm not a fucking indian i'm no one i'm like not even what the fuck who am i i don't know anyways so what i'm saying is whenever you get out of the role your ego shatters okay and whenever you are not playing any fucking role in this world there is no ego at all and that's how you know this book really fucking helped me the next book is siddhartha siddhartha by herman s it's a novel if even if you're not spiritual at all you don't know shit about spirituality but by reading this book reaching the you know end of this book you'll be like getting into spirituality because this guy talks really amazing shit because this book is actually a classic it has been written in 1950s or 60s i guess and it's really very old and it got got a lot of wisdom because the guy you know whatever he has been through is like telling everything about it and reaching the end of the book he just you know tells how he picks up the stone you know and how he just looks at the stone and tells like what he has gone through in his life what is the stone he is the stone and all that shit so this book is really fucking amazing if you want to go into spirituality it's a novel and it will help you a lot to understand the basics of spirituality the third book is freedom from the known by jiddu krishnamurthy jiddu krishnamurthy he was the founder he was like i think he was a part of theosophical society and he destroyed the theosophical society and his views on a man a freed the freedom in life fear and all his views were so fucking unconditioned you know whenever whenever when i started reading this book he said like don't read this book it's not a book to be read it's i'm not going to give you beliefs i'm not going to give you set of instructions that you have to follow nothing none of that this book is more like you know uh introspection like he's keep on he's keep on asking questions inside himself so it's like a journey that you go on with him and start asking question inside yourself like who are you who the fuck are you and then there's this chapter where he's telling about the observer is the observed so when you'll start reading it you know in the beginning it's quite you know normal you, you'll be able to understand it but as soon as it start reaching the end you know he talks about love he talks about hate he talks about observer is the observer when you'll start reaching to that point you'll be like what the fuck this guy is so fucking amazing actually you know this book i i read it in like 3 days i finished it in 3 days and i still read it it's so fucking amazing the fourth book is tao te ching tao te ching is like it was written 500 years before even you know even when the christ was born 500 years before the birth of christ this book is so fucking amazing it got it this got some verses i don't know how many verses 73 75 77 81 I don't near about 81 82 81 verses 81 verses it is having and those verses are so fucking deep and you know what you have to do to understand to really grasp to really internalize these you know verses what you'll have to do is you'll have to sit do nothing and read the verse read the verse and just stop read the verse and just let it sink in it's like a seed okay the verses in this book is like a seed so you won't really understand it if it is not getting the proper uh, air water oxygen and what the fuck oxygen <laughs> if it's not getting proper environment the seed won't sprout so you just have to sit read the verse let it sink in and just think about it done and this book is so fucking amazing reading this book itself you know it can cure a lot of inner issues that you are having the fifth book it is the vigyan bharat tantra you know you have read a lot about tantra but this is the actual tantra it got 112 meditations of tantra what all 112 meditations basically you know the 
Tantra is divided into three parts. So it's like Sambhavopaya, Saktopaya and Anubhopaya. Anubhopaya is like, you know, those kind of meditations where you'll have to use something external like beads, you know, you're like, Om, 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 something, something. You, anything you need external, suppose idols, you know, gods on the roads and all that shit, temples and all, it's all external. You need something out of yourself to reach highest level of your consciousness. That is Anubhopaya. That is the... That is like you know the longest way. It will take a lot of time to reach conscious to you to you know reach the super consciousness if you you know just follow an upaya. Then comes the saktopaya. Saktopaya is more like you know you're using words, so you like you're using mantras, you're using affirmations, you're using thoughts, and whatever you're using something which is not external, which is still internal, but you're using something. Okay. And then there is Sambhavopaya. Sambhavopaya is something where you don't have to use anything. Okay. There is nothing external. There is nothing internal. Just attention is enough. Your awareness is enough. Okay. Whatever you are, whatever is happening. Okay. Awareness is enough for Sambhavopaya. So the Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, you know, there, is, there are three things, Tantra, Mantra and Yantra. Yantra is like, uh, go, you know, idols and all that. Mantra is like speaking and Tantra. Tantra is like no material. Okay. So whenever I say Tantra, you might be thinking about Aghoris and all that. Oh, ghost coming. No, that's not Tantra. That's what, that's how media shows Tantra. That's not what actually Tantra is. When you will do Tantra, you know... <laughs> Fuck you. The last book, the last book is Shiva Sutra. Shiva Sutra is like, these were, these. this is the book, it's very advanced. You won't be able to understand it if you don't, if you're not actually spiritual because the verses written in these books are actually Sanskrit and this book, Shiva Sutras, it's the, it's the original translation of those Sanskrit verses into English. There are quite a lot other Shiva Sutras but they are not the correct uh, translation of Sanskrit verses but this one Shiva Sutras by Swami Lakshmanju this is the real one because most of the other I have read other Shiva Sutras also it's more like imagination you know other gurus are putting their imagination out in their books but this book is like verse by verse telling everything and it's really hard this book will hit you hard but it won't happen if you're not spiritual enough how spiritual is spiritual enough that's a question in itself but this book, once you start reading it, it will be a little difficult to understand it. But once it goes inside you, you are amazing. You are done. And then comes the best books in sexuality. So the first one is Intimacy by Osho. It's really amazing that this book is out there and people, most of the people don't know that it's actually there. In Intimacy, Osho is talking about what, what the fuck is Intimacy? Intimacy is the absence of any kind of resistance. Two people cannot be totally intimate with each other if there is even 0.01% of resistance. If I am resisting to show a part of me to someone, that means the intimacy is not going to be there. Or if someone is resisting for me, like if they are not allowing me to do something of, or if they are not allowing themselves to do something, it's a resistance. So as long as there is resistance, intimacy is not meant to be there. So. This book teaches you like, okay, you have to be intimate with every fucking thing. You have to be intimate with the tree, you have to be intimate with your breathing, you have to be intimate with air, you'll have to be intimate with women, anything. It's not just people just think whenever intimacy comes, women. No. You know, whatever your game is, okay, your game represents your lifestyle. So if you're not intimate with everything in this world, you cannot, you cannot be purely intimate with women. Because there will be some kind of resistance and as long as there is a resistance, the intimacy is not meant to be there. So, there will be times when you will be feel incomplete even after having sex with women. It is because the intimacy was not there. And the intimacy was not there because the reason is you. Okay, you are not allowing yourself to go like zero resistance, no intimacy, doing everything. This is fucking me. Next, the book is Models. Models talks a lot about uh, neediness and all kind of shit. So it's like good for newbies. There's nothing much to talk about. It's like he, talk, he talks a lot about neediness in this book. And yeah, good book for newbies. That's it. Then comes amazing book, Sigmund Freud, Civilization and its Discontents. So this book is quite amazing because, you know, Sigmund Freud as a psychoanalyst, he talks about he talks a lot about libido. 
and there are some really good realizations that you know i had after reading this book like how he says like why do people masturbate and like there are so many women out there but still why do people choose to masturbate because they don't want to do the hard thing they don't want to go out and take action so when people don't want to go out and take action they choose the easy way out and whenever you choose the easy way out it is going to have an impact on all the things in your life okay whenever there will be opportunities in front of you you are going to miss why because you will choose the easy way out okay and there are a lot of other things you know the pleasure principles that people always run after pleasure okay wherever there is pain they won't go there but if they go if they won't go where there is pain there is no growth what if i don't go to gym i won't get good muscles but if i don't go to gym i won't get good muscles <laughs> right so that's the thing wherever there is pain there is growth wherever there is pleasure there is growth but <clears throat> not a long term growth the last book in sexuality is the art of seduction so <laughs> if as you can see this book you know if i'll show you it's like totally oh man this book is totally colored by me so if you this book is this book is totally fucking colored by me this book is so amazing that i it took me 5 months to complete this book and once i completed this book <clears throat> it helped me a fucking lot and all the kind of women that robert green has recommended in this book you know that he's talking about in this book the rake the dandy the siren and all that i've met all of fucking them okay and this book oh man this such this book seriously changed my reality forever okay so i would recommend this book if you can just fucking read it it's it's amazing coming to the end of the video now i'm going to tell you the best self help books that helped me to be where i am today the first one is the four agreements so it talks about the four agreements that you should have in your life so it is written by a uh, mexican author don miguel ruiz he's talking about the four agreements the first one is be impeccable with your word whatever you say say it with integrity you know you should never back on your word your word should be enough you know you don't have to make anyone you know to con- you know you don't have to convince anyone or anything your word is fucking enough don't take anything personally because most of the time you know girls do shit test and all those things we fucking take it personally but we if we don't take personally we are like we come off as unreactive so whenever you are unreactive you are good you're alpha <laughs> The third thing is don't make assumptions. Why most of the relationships are not there for a longer period of time because you know assumptions assumptions are there. We started assuming that other person should know what I like or don't like and other person is thinking that I should know what I like or don't like but actually we none of us know that what we each other like or don't like. So don't assume that other person should know or he must know no tell them tell them what you like tell them what you don't like and that's how you know the third agreement helps you a lot and the fourth one is always do your best because you'd never know how best you can do you know we don't know our limits who is the one setting our limits who is the one setting our limits ourselves right so always do your best and you never know what is your best second book in self help is green brain green brain is a health book it helps it helped me a lot to take care of my brain it talks about the major function of your body is to carry the brain around how to take care of your brain so that you know your brain takes care of everything so everything is about your brain and brain takes care of everything so this book you know the test that you have to do the kind of food that you have to eat how everything you eat is impacting on your brain one good thing that this book talks about is like suppose you're conta- eating a lot of gluten okay so how gluten impacts our body okay and one of the more thing is like our brain is having no like it it is not having any kind of shield for example our heart a heart is having a shield so whenever you're going to get any kind of heart attack or something you're going to come to know about it very soon okay you are going to come to know about it your heart will give you signals that something is going to happen that's why most of the people get minor heart attacks before the major one but brain brain has no fucking shields okay so whenever you're going to get any brain disease it will just come okay it won't give you any fucking signal because there is no no shield that is protecting the brain there is only blood brain barrier okay so whatever is in your blood it goes directly into your brain there is no barrier in between okay 
so that's what you know this book is all about how to protect your brain what all supplements you take and all that kind of shit how they are helping you and once you start taking those supplements you're actually going to feel good in your life okay the third book is creativity by osho and this book is so good man this book is so good it talks about how creative you can be and how create what is creativity first of all how it stems out okay how to you know spread it how to show it to everyone how 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 anyone can see it there's like so much power in you but just because you're not creative enough no people are unable to see those powers okay so this book creativity by osho you got to read it the fourth one is the last lecture by randy posh i actually cried i actually cried reading this book because it was actually his last lecture that quotation i can just never forget the brick walls are there to separate the ones who don't want it badly enough from the ones who want it badly enough doesn't matter okay so it's like there's a lot of resistance in your life you're like what the fuck is going on in my life it's so bad this and that this and that so there are those brick walls that are stopping you to get from where you want to be in your life but those brick walls are not there to stop you those brick walls are there to stop the stop other people who don't want it badly enough otherwise anyone can go and just reach them like don't stop when you see the obstacles you have to just keep on pushing through pushing through pushing through how badly do you want it and at the end the book is power versus force the fifth self help book so this book talks a lot about you know collaborative versus competitive frame so suppose you're talking to any person you know we are always thinking about showing other person down if someone says something about me how dare he say something about me when he don't know anything about me okay or if someone is saying anything about me why is he talking about me so it's all a competitive frame set of mind okay don't be fucking competitive this talk this book talks about how being competitive can actually lead to weaker states of mind and you know finally it can lead to depression but what is collaborative collaborative is like you turn into a sponge okay whenever you turn into a sponge whatever someone throws at you whatever environment you are in whatever it is you keep on soaking it in soaking it in soaking it in so when you keep on soaking it in you become like that so if i throw a sponge in a red colored something water the sponge will start collecting all that red colored water inside itself and the sponge itself will turn into red color <laughs> Okay so you won't be able to see the different colored sponge in a red colored water okay that's because of collaboration so whenever you're having this collaborative frame someone is like you know you're the shittiest person in the world and you're like no i'm not the shittiest person in the world i'm like the i'm like the stinkiest person in the world so i am the shittiest also i'm the stinkiest also and you know what you should come and try to lick me uh, something like this so it's like someone says shit about you you're like you're making up on it you're like more collaborative like yeah you're you're talking shit about me yep let's talk shit about myself you know <laughs> something like this so these this is how you know all of these books help me to be where i am today so if this video helps you give me a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my fucking channel until next time <laughs>